And Megan Rayleigh in the studio with us, uh, fresh from an interview with Bob McNair, talking Houston Texans training camp and up the freeway, up I-45. There's a little bit of a soap opera going on in Cowboy Land. What is that all about? When is there not a soap opera with the Dallas Cowboys? I know. You know, they cleaned their organization up and got rid of those loudmouth, flashy guys. Define clean up. <laughs> they got rid of Terrell Owens. They okay. got rid of Pac-Man Jones. Yeah. But this year, with their first overall pick in the draft, they took a wide receiver out of Oklahoma State, Des Bryant. Mm -hmm. Very talented. Yeah. Great size. He's got great speed, great hands. He can catch the ball all over the field. But already, they've had practice maybe two or three days now. Yeah. He is already... The cocky, the arrogant, I'm not going to listen to veterans, nobody's going to treat me like a rookie. How old is this kid? 22. 22. 22 years where do, old. Where do these guys get off, you know, conducting themselves that way? Because he is either the first or the second first round pick. I think he was the first to sign their contract. He's already received his money. Yeah. And there is so much hype around him as being the best receiver to come out of college football this past year. Okay, what happens to this guy if in the first game he catches a beautiful pass and runs it almost in and some yahoo sideways tackles him and blows out both of his knees and he's done. He's toast. It's over. He already has a signing bonus yeah. worth just multi-millions. How many? I, I don't I don't know the details of his exact contract, yeah. but if you're a first round pick, your signing bonus is at least a million. Okay, there's a million right there. He's already made the million. Okay, he's going to get paid even if he goes on IR, which is injured reserve. He is going to get paid for the rest of the season. Okay, and what's and that it, worth? It's uh, his same salary. His same salary. His same salary. What he would have made for each game. But after the season's over, after if he's the season's unusable, over, unusable is he toast? But a first round pick doesn't normally get a one-year deal. Okay. They get a five-year deal. So they will have to work something out. They'll have to renegotiate his contract where they say, you know what? You're never going to play again. Here's $7 million. Or here's $15 yeah. million. Dollars, or twenty-five. Well, my Whatever. Point, my point is, here's a cocky guy. He hadn't played one game yet. And if something happens to him, is he going to have to eat his words? Is he going to have to maybe reconfigure his life game plan? to comport to that reality. And heaven forbid it would happen to him. I don't, I don't wish that on anybody. But these kids that come out of college, and we give them these signing bonuses, and they're making all this money, and they act like they're, you know, God or something. It's just that really grates me. That's well, why I'm not I, a good sports it's, fan. It's so interesting because you look at who has been the number one pick in the draft every year. Uh -huh. This year it's quarterback Sam Bradford, uh -huh. who was injured almost all of last season. Yeah. Blew out his shoulder. The year before... Quarterback Matthew Stafford out of Georgia, mm -hmm. he had $50 million before he even played his first NFL game. Wow. And that's with Detroit. And granted, he is doing a lot of things with that team, and he will mm -hmm. be the future of that organization. He already is the face of the franchise. But it it's mind-boggling that you will hand $50 million to a 22-year-old kid, and they've never played a down in an NFL game. Right. Des Bryant is already revered by the Dallas Cowboy fans and the media as being their big hotshot receiver. But the thing is, they have a big hotshot receiver already. His name is Roy <laughs> Williams. Uh -huh. And it's interesting, and you see this whether it's in high school, whether it's college, your rookie or your freshman, whatever. Your new guy is treated like the new guy. Yeah. Hey, rookie. Carry my helmet. And I'll see rookies coming off the f practice field over at Reliant, and they're carrying four helmets. They've got five shoulder pads stacked up, you know, so you can't even hardly see their face. Yeah. And that's their job. Hey, and rookie, go get me a Gatorade. They have to buy their elevator tickets to the locker room. Exactly. <laughs> or, you know, they have... You know, I, whatever, they'll do their little pranks or whatever. Yeah, hazing isn't yeah. the kind of hazing it no. used to be, where they would duct tape a guy to the goalposts and throw full bottles of Gatorade <laughs> at his face. Now it's, hey, you're a rookie, we're going to shave your head. But Roy Williams asked Des Bryant, hey, Rook, carry my shoulder pads. Yeah. He walked right away. 
Anna Megan, thanks for coming in this morning. Check out her stuff on The Chronicle and on Sports Radio 610, and we'll have a video clip of this posted to our Facebook page sometime this week. Well, thanks so you much for having me in. You bet. Hey, tomorrow's show, we've got Dr. Alan Emmerich from First Dental in Sugarland in the first hour. Jim Blake's takes on Wall Street, and of course, Jerry Hobby's website critiques from Anything Internet. That starts at 7 in the morning right here on Talk 650. For Stephen Kay, I'm Brent Clanton. It's 10 o'clock. Have a profitable day.